All right. Do you ever feel like things just aren't happening for you, right? You know what you want. You know you want this dream business. You want this dream lifestyle. You want this dream relationship. You know what you want. You're putting it out to the universe, but it just isn't happening. You've made the commitment. You're putting in the effort and the energy, but it just isn't happening for you. Okay. Why is that? Why do you think that is? Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I want to talk about this because I woke up in the middle of the night. So again, something weird happened. I'm beginning to wonder if I, I don't know. Again, I woke up to hearing a woman's voice. Uh, she said to me, Aaron, and she handed me a phone. Get this. So she handed me a phone, right? And I picked up the phone and I said, hello. And it was my mom on the other line. And she, and she just said, Aaron. And then there was silence, right? And I remember thinking, okay, I, I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming that my mom actually isn't on the phone right now. Um, so what do I say to her? Is this weird kind of thing? So I just sat there questioning what was going on. I half knew this was in a dream or, you know, I was in theta mode or even maybe alpha and I'm going, what am I supposed to get from this? What's going on? Is this my spirit guide who set this up? Is this my intuition? <coughs> Whatever it was. And guess what? Guess what? I figured it out. Get this, you guys. My dad's birthday was on the 23rd of January. I forgot. I forgot my dad's birthday. I'm terrible with remembering birthdays. I was traveling. I forgot, right? So then I have this happen. I'm holding this phone and it's my mom on the other line. And I know I'm supposed to get something from this, right? And then it, I, it occurred to me, my mom's birthday is on Sunday. That's what that was. I don't know if it's my spirit guide or my intuition or something telling me to don't forget your mother's birthday on Sunday. Anyway, so I woke up after that and I was thinking about this. This is what I actually want to talk about right now. So you've set the intention of what you truly want, what you truly desire, right? what your dream business is, what it looks like, how much money you're making, the freedom you're going to have, what you're going to do with that time freedom, right? You are putting it out there that this life that you want to be living, you're putting it out there that maybe you want this amazing relationship, right? Or you know who you want the relationship with and you're putting it out to the universe that this is what you want, right? So here's the thing. That is part of the equation to creating the business, the life, the awesomeness that you want to have. That's part of the equation, knowing what you want and setting the intention. By the way, you don't know what you want until you know what you don't want. But <clears throat> so getting back to this, that is part of the equation where I find a lot of people miss out. I certainly did for most of my life. Here is the missing ingredient that must be in the recipe in order for you to create that dream business, build that dream business, create that life, all the stuff you want. Here's the missing piece. The intention and the commitment is not enough. Okay. It's not enough. What the missing ingredient is oftentimes is your thoughts are not in alignment with what you want. Your vibration is not in alignment with what you want. Here's the thing. Your thoughts create emotions, right? Your emotions create your vibration. Your here's what you want. It's it's you know, you got you got stuff you desire, right? But yet your thoughts and your vibration, your thoughts are if, if they're negative, full of doubt, full of fear, full of you thinking of past shit, bringing up shit from your past that is lowering your vibration. So here's what you want, right? But your vibration is down here. They're not in alignment. They must be 
in alignment. So when you set that intention and you put it out to the universe, when the universe, <coughs> sorry, you guys, when, you, when the universe feels that you feel like you really want this, you feel like you already have it, you feel, you feel, you feel, you feel, you feel, period, end of story. If you're putting out your intentions and there's no elevated emotion behind it, they're not, you're not in alignment with what you want and you will not get it. Okay. I've proven to myself, this is true over the last five years. I mean, Jesus Christ, I've raised my vibration. So anytime I decide I want something now, it happens. Yeah, I work real hard for it. I'm not saying I sit back on the couch and and drink my, you know, drink my cocktail and have it just fall in my lap. No, nope. you got to work for it. You got to earn it. But I find <coughs> that I get a lot more of what I want <coughs> when I put the intention out there and then I make sure I'm a vibrational match for it. And then it happens easily. I'm not saying without effort, but it happens easily. Sometimes I'm sitting there going, oh my God, I put the intention out. Here's my goal. And then I ended up like, I end up doubling my goal kind of thing. It's weird. It's like, okay, I want to say, bring five people in this week onto my team. Right. And I put in the effort and I have the vibration. I raise my vibration, man. I get into what I'm doing. I fall in love with it, right? I set out to help a bunch of people and bam, I brought in 10 people onto my team this week. My goal for the week was five. That's pretty darn high right there. My goal was five, but I put the intention out. I got, I made my, sure my, my, my thoughts and my vibration were a match and I ended up bringing in 10 people in six days. <coughs> And I find that with every area of my life now, just because I know how to raise my vibration really quickly and keep my vibration really high, I get, I hit my goals and I get way more of what I want because of that reason. And I look back on my life up until the last, you know, uh, five years and I wasn't in alignment with what I really wanted. So no wonder. I didn't get everything I wanted. I'm not playing the oh, poor me card. I am not. I am not. You don't have to pity me by any means. Not what I'm talking about. It's just getting what I wanted, hitting goals, was always so much harder back then when I wasn't a vibrational match than it is now. Does this make sense, you guys? Because this is really, really, really important. <coughs> I can't stop coughing, but I wanted to do this video. Hey, Matthew. Um, but I wanted to do this video because I want to put that out there. Because you're going to make it so much easier on yourself. If you learn how to raise your vibration easily and effortlessly, and then keep your vibration really high as much as you can, and then Put what you want out to the universe, okay? Seriously, like I know when my vibration is dipping because stuff will start to go wrong. It'll start going wrong. It's the damnedest thing. It's weird things will start to go wrong. Like, oh, okay, universe, I'm hearing you. I've fallen out of alignment. So I'm making all these weird things happen for me to show me that I'm out of alignment so I get myself back into alignment and am in a place where I can co-create what I'm truly wanting. <coughs> so does that make sense, you guys? Hey, Anita. Oh, is that right? Awesome, Anita. You're driving right now listening to me on Bluetooth. That's super cool. That is super cool. I love that. I mean, this is stuff I live by now. And ever since I've started living this way, right, I've been able to 
co-create, to create what I want, right? That's why I tattooed it on my arm. That's why I have that tattooed on my arm. So that I see that all the time. There's no pity parties going on in my day. There can't be. When I look at my tattoo on my arm, that reminds me I am a creator. I'm not a freaking victim allowing stuff to just happen to me in my life. I am the creator of my life. It's pretty hard to get trapped in a pity party when you understand that you've created that pity party. And you as a creator can get your little ass out of that pity party. party. <coughs> and it's your choice to stay in it or get yourself out of it. Right? You're a creator and you have to know that and you have to live by that. It will change your life. Being stuck in a victim mode, um, it sucks. It sucks, quite frankly, right? When you're stuck in that mode of, oh, life's unfair. Um, you know, and a lot of times people go, well, if I created this, this shit show I call my life, why would I do that to myself? Why would anyone do this to themselves, right? But there is a reason. You got to pay attention when you're, you're handed opportunities, right? Something shitty happens in your life. You've got to look at it as an opportunity. Maybe this is a sign that you're supposed to pivot. You're supposed to go down a different path. You're supposed to take a different action. Sometimes we have to get slapped upside the head before we take action. You know, I think about my vehicle. I kept this vehicle that, God, I ended up putting so much money into it, right? And then I was driving home one night and it's pitch black, no street lights <coughs> on the road. And the electrical system went. Um, I overheated the engine. The electrical system shut down. I lost all my lights, all my, like my steering, my brakes everything. I lost everything. I managed to pull over onto the side of the road and I kind of went, all right, universe, I have heard you loud and clear. I'd have to be an idiot to not pay attention to this one sign. You've given me so many signs that I should bloody well get myself a new vehicle. Um, one of the other signs was I was going up a hill. So I stopped at some light. So I was on a hill. I'm in the left-hand turn lane, waiting to turn left. The light goes for me to turn, and I'm on this hill, right? So I go to press on the gas, and my truck started to roll backwards. I'm like, what the hell? Why am I rolling backwards? I'm pressing on the gas. Why am I rolling backwards? So I slam on the brakes, and I had to leave my vehicle there. A rat had chewed through the wiring. So there I sat. I had to get it towed and the whole bit. So it's like the universe. I actually honestly believe if I had done one more repair on that vehicle and kept driving it, that God only knows what would have happened. I probably would have been in this huge accident. I don't know what would have happened. But I looked at that as, all right, universe, you don't have to show me another sign. I'd be an idiot to not take action at this point in time. I've ignored the other four signs you've sent me. I'm not ignoring this one. I got a new car the next day. Not a brand new car because I don't need a brand new car. We travel half time. <coughs> I got a new to me vehicle that I absolutely love that cost me like a 30th of the, of the amount of gas, right? But you got to appreciate those signs when they come your way. Look at them as opportunities. And also, when shitty things happen, you've got to look for the lesson. Why did I co-create happen? I'm meant to learn something from this. You've got to look for what you're meant to learn. It's happening for you, not to you. And this is a mental mind shift, right? This is changing your perception of how you look at things. This is changing your perception of I'm just a victim, everything just happens to me, to stepping into the shoes of a creator and taking responsibility for your own life, your, your you know, responsibility for your own success, your relationships, where you are at in life, all of that stuff, all of that stuff. It's all a choice. And again, if you're going, I didn't choose to get sick. I didn't choose 
for this to happen to me. You did. You did. And when something happens with someone else, get this, when someone else is involved, um, you co-created it with that person. You did. You did. You co-created that with that person for a reason. Because you and that person are meant to learn something from it. You had a contract long ago that you both signed so that you would both get something from it. And I don't care if you think that's BS. I don't care if it is BS. When you decide to adopt that perception of things, you're going to be a creator. You're going to play this game called life as a creator and you will begin to create the kind of life that you want because you can't do it when you're stuck in victimhood you cannot create from a place of victimhood you can only create from a place of creator so to choose not to play the role of creator in this 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 movie that is your life it's your choice it's your choice and if you're having trouble making that mindset shift, I got some things that will help you out. But um, it's a choice. It's called personal development. It's called opening your awareness. It's called making, becoming really, really ultra aware of your own thoughts every single day so that you can self-correct, self-correct, self-correct every time you need to you do that over and over and over again you will reprogram your brain you will reprogram your brain why would you not want to have a brain that is working so for you then against you because you can flip that around you can flip it around it is your choice and you've got to know that so <clears throat> i hope this is all empowering for you to hear rather than going Shit, I got some work to do. No, you got some work to do. It's called an opportunity to change your life. And when <coughs> you make these mental changes, these mindset shifts, oh my God, you're going to have so much more happiness, so much more joy in your life. You'll be so much more present in your life. You will be so much more grateful for everything you have, everything you've accomplished, everything that is coming your way, because how could you not be? Because you're gonna make damn sure that it comes your way because you're going to make it so. You're going to create that. Does that make sense, you guys, before I ramble too long? Anyway, I hope this helps. Xenia, we were talking about this in California last week, right? co-creating stuff with somebody else for a reason, right? You have that crappy relationship with um, someone in your past, whether it be a family member, boyfriend, girlfriend, girl at school, whatever. You've co-created that for a reason. And I hope to God you got what you were meant to learn from it, right? It's an opportunity. It's an opportunity. Yeah, the vibrations are the energy. Yeah, to make it go right. Well said, Matthew. The vibrations are the energy to make it go right, to make it happen, to bring it to you, to attract it to you, right? Yeah, and then when it goes down, everything stops. <coughs> but it stops, and then you simply need to get it back going, you know, back to going where you want it to go. Well said, Matthew. You were just in the elevator the other day with a guy uh, who was so shy. I've said hi so many times, and once again, the vibration stopped. He did not exchange contact info. Totally get it. Yeah, uh, and that has nothing to do with you. The thing is, too, I'm glad you brought this up, Matthew. So many people are so stuck in their own way, their own head, and they think everything is about them right? So taking it personally. So Matthew being in the elevator and this guy maybe cowering and ignoring him kind of thing. A lot of times people will take that personally and go, oh, there's something wrong with me. He doesn't want to talk to me. Maybe I'm too fat, too thin, too white, too dark, too, too plaid, too freaking whatever, too tall, too short, 
right? We take it personally when, ah, uh, nothing to do with you. He's shy. He's insecure. He's full of fear. He's going for a job interview and he's a nervous wreck and doesn't want to forget what he's going to say in the job interview. So really doesn't want to talk to you. People have things going on in their own lives. People have their own security, their own fears. You know, it doesn't have anything to do with you pretty much all the time, right? The minute you talk, to talk, stop taking things so personally is the day you are, oh my God, liberated. Absolutely liberated. Start living for you and not for other people, quite frankly. You can only control one person in this life, one thing, and that's you. Stop trying to control things you have no control over, that you have no business controlling. Like, don't get your head so wrapped up into changing something that is beyond your control to change. Have you ever heard this phrase? Fix what you can and F all the rest. Fix what you can, F all the rest. If you're giving something so much of your emotional energy and your time and you're stressing out about it, yet you can't do anything about it, why? Why? Give up on it. Accept you can't change it and change the things you can change, okay? It was at a Joe Dispenza event where he had a thing up on the screen and it was a quote from... It wasn't the Dalai Lama, but it was another um, another monk. And basically he was saying that. Screw everything you cannot change. Only worry about what you can change. Stop wasting your precious finite energy. Freedom! Freedom! I swear to God, this, this stuff is life-changing. Absolutely life-changing. Anyway, that's it for me. I just did a video uh, for my <coughs> live for my team, and I think my voice is now absolutely shot. Hey, Bonnie, how are you, darling? Hey, Lisa. So anyway, uh, on a side note, this has nothing to do with the video, but I've been putting it out there. I'm going to be doing a free, free three-month coaching program for some people who want to come in and work with me. I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to be doing to grow your own successful home business. I'm going to teach you everything I know, how I've built my own business, right? How to build your audience, how to engage your audience, where to find these people who should be your audience, how to, how to connect, how to transition your conversations to business, how to get the sale and the sign up, how to post so that people ask you for information about your products, how to post so that people ask you for information about your business opportunity, how to grow your business. I'm a certified attraction marketing business coach and trainer, and I help people do this, okay? So if you want information on this coaching that I'm gonna be doing, it's going to be free for a certain select group of people. If you qualify, awesome, let's do this. I'd love to help you. So message me. You can also go to my profile. I think it's that, no, that, I don't know. That way, maybe. I have a graphic under my intro on my profile. You can click on that. You can check it out. Get a better idea if you're fit. Fill out the form or just PM me, and we'll have a conversation and see if you are a fit for what I am doing. See if it's a fit for you, okay? That's what I have going on. I cannot wait to do this. Going to help a whole bunch of people out. Super excited about it. <clears throat> awesome guys thank you for joining me happy valentine's day hope you're all doing something lovely <coughs> i'm still trying to get over this stupid bloody cold it's a long one anyway cannot wait until i get my voice back and i stop coughing so awesome you guys i love you guys have an amazing evening and an amazing weekend and if you want to have a conversation with me then pm me PM me. You can drop it in the comments. I want to talk to you. Tag me, though, or PM me, okay? I'm here to chat. Love you guys. Bye for now.